Why did Chance Perdomo give up on a law degree to pursue acting? What was the one condition that Ross Lynch had to abide by before being given the role of Harvey Kinkle? And how did Kean and Shipka's allergies almost wreck a crucial storyline? Chance Perdomo. All right, listen up, Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt stands. Did you know that in an alternate universe, these two lovebirds would never have met? Crazy, right? Well, it almost happened as Chance Perdomo narrowly missed out on getting to play the role of Jughead. Chance actually made it pretty far before losing out on the role to Cole. But the show's casting directors wouldn't forget him, as they had all begun secretly drafting a future character for Chance. That character would later be revealed to be Ambrose Spellman in The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. The aspiring actor was later asked to come in for a screen test, and, well, as you can imagine, he absolutely nailed it. And he received the good news via text. Yep. David Rappaport, the casting director, sent the actor a text with all caps saying, congrats. His response? I was like, thank you guys so much, but I need to call you back because I have to call my mum. Cute. But did you know that before he was the one and only Ambrose, he was studying a law degree? Yep. And after landing an audition, he realized that acting was his true calling and decided to drop out after completing two years of the course. And while this was a rather risky move, we're just happy that it paid off as we could never have imagined anyone else playing Ambrose but Chance. Ross Lynch. Have you been curious about how Ross Lynch went from Austin, an ally, to the chilling adventures of Sabrina? Well, thanks to a recent YouTube video that he posted alongside his brother and bandmate Rocky, we now have all the answers. According to the 24-year-old, he was asked to audition for the role of Harvey Kinkle. Lynch was then asked to do a chemistry reading with Kin and Shipka, and then a screen test. And after what felt like the longest audition process that he'd ever done, Lynch was finally offered the role under one condition. He dies his plan platinum blonde hair black. Producers wanted the actor to turn his hair darker so that it wouldn't look like Harvey and Sabrina's are siblings rather than love interests. But before he could commit to the new hairstyle and the role, Ross had to check in with his brother. Taking on the role meant more than donning a new black locks he would have to step away from his music career with his brother Rocky in order to move to Vancouver for nine months to shoot the show. Obviously, his brother was incredibly supportive and encouraged Ross to take the role. And so, the actor did. He dyed his hair, hopped on a plane, and was shooting in Vancouver within two days. But for those of you still hoping to get new tunes from the brother's band, you'll be happy to know that they're back together and are creating new music under their new band name, The Driver Era. And we honestly can't wait to hear what they produce. Kin and Shipka. Acting definitely isn't a job for the weak of heart. Just ask Kin and Shipka. Even though Kiernan has been acting ever since she was a baby, she worried about her career before the chilling adventures happened. Sitting down with Refinery29, the actress shared how she was, quote, down in the dumps trying to prove herself as a serious actress in the industry. But before she could give up on her dream of making it in Hollywood, executive producer Roberto Aguirre Sacasa revealed that he had a character for Kiernan. In fact, Roberto shared with Entertainment Weekly that he started writing the role with Kiernan specifically in mind. After initially interviewing for executives, they instantly knew that she was their Sabrina, if she was willing to dye her hair. Yep, just like her co-star Ross Lynch, Shipka was expected to cut and dye her long brown hair in order to don Sabrina's signature blonde hairdo. I had long brown hair. I did the audition. They said it was amazing, but... You've got to come back and do it as a blonde, because that's the only way we're going to really sell you as Sabrina," Shipka told Collider. And as we already know, she was more than happy to transform her looks to embrace her role as Sabrina, except for her character's love of cats. Did you know that Kiernan is seriously allergic to cats? Her allergic reaction even got to the point where Roberto briefly considered making Salem a dog. But that would have gone against the original series, so he decided that Salem would stay a black cat as it helped achieve the dark and broody aesthetic that the show is known for. Jazz Sinclair When Jazz was just 18 years old, she decided to make the big move from her hometown in Texas to go and explore the world with her best friend. They planned on visiting Thailand, Colombia, and Vietnam. What wasn't on their travel list? A stopover in Los Angeles for an audition. Within just a week, Jazz would be heading out to meet with the Warner Brothers executives and be reading for the role of Rosalind. In that time, this audition randomly came. I read it and thought, this is cool. She's a feminist and I love witches. I went in with such a 
Beckett's attitude, probably because I was so fulfilled from traveling. I didn't put too much pressure on it and just had fun. Even then, Jazz shared that she wasn't convinced that she would land the role of Rosalind, especially since she had seen some of her competition and didn't think that she stood a chance. But within a few days, the team would call her with the good news that she had officially received the role. After officially landing the part, Sinclair put her travel plans on hold and instead moved to Canada to film the show's first and second seasons back to back. And well, the rest was history. Lachlan Watson, portraying the much-loved Susie Putnam, a sort of rough-and-tumble farm kid, 19-year-old Lachlan, who identifies as non-binary or genderqueer, got the role after producers of the show issued a nationwide casting call back in 2016. The show called for queer actors of any kind, as they hadn't fully developed Susie's character just yet. Lachlan said they were instantly drawn to the show, and even the character of Susie, as it was set in this fantastical world where there were no rules. You could be whoever you wanted to be. And Lachlan loved that, especially given the fact that the show would tackle the complicated issues of teenage life, including gender identity. And so, Lachlan decided to submit an audition tape, reciting the lines of a very emotional monologue in which a character is coming out as trans. Exactly one day after submitting the tape, creative directors emailed Lachlan back and asked if they could Skype that afternoon. During the Skype call, executive producers explained how the character that Watson had auditioned for would be different. Unlike in the audition script, Watson's character would start off in the series as a teenage girl whose name would be Susie Putnam, not a boy named Orlando, as Watson had originally auditioned for. Watson was totally stoked to take on the adjusted role and was immediately flown out to Vancouver to begin the official table read with the rest of the cast. Looking back on the audition, Lachlan says that while no creative control is ever given to the cast, Watson noticed how their own personal experiences helped develop Susie's character. For example, Lachlan noted how the show's writers intentionally removed any labels that would identify the character, as Susie is still very much figuring things out. I think, if anything, how vocal I am about my own identity maybe helped the producers understand that labels aren't everything, and we can take our time with the role, they said. And we couldn't be happier that more shows are embracing greater inclusivity and representation. Gavin Leatherwood much like most aspiring actors, Gavin was totally pumped when he heard about the nationwide casting call for the role of Nicholas Scratch. But that wasn't exactly the role that producers had wanted him to read for. While we couldn't imagine this tall, dark, and handsome boy ever stepping into Ross's shoes, Gavin was originally meant to play the role of Harvey Kinkle. Whilst reading the lines for Harvey, Leatherwood admitted to feeling awkward, like the role just didn't suit him. So, when casting execs decided to let him read for Nicholas, he was relieved as he felt this character was more up his Alley, and we couldn't agree more. After a brief character switch, a new script, and an awesome audition, Leatherwood found out four days later that he would be playing Nicholas, a role that was clearly meant for him. But here's where things get hilarious. Gavin found out the news via an Instagram DM. Whilst many celebrities choose to ignore their DMs thanks to prying fans, Gavin happened to briefly skim through his hundreds of messages. And there it was, a message from the show's producer David with the words, Congratulations! Congratulations in all caps. Looking back on the moment, Gavin often refers to receiving that DM as a very 2018 millennial way of doing things, and he absolutely loved it. But just to make sure that he didn't think he was being pranked, a few moments later, his manager called him and confirmed the good news. Now excuse us while we wait for an Instagram DM that changes our lives too. Tati Gabrielle. Now, we don't mean any disrespect to the other characters of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, but Prudence Knight, who's played by none other than Tati Gabrielle, truly is the chicest witch at the Academy of Unseen Arts. It was as if she were born to take on this character, and fans just can't seem to get enough. But given the fact that Gabrielle's real-life personality is very sweet and somewhat shy, producers actually asked her to read for Rosalind instead. But after watching her read for the role, the team later brought Gabrielle back to read for Prudence, which was an actual dream come true for the aspiring actress, as she had always wanted to escape her sweet girl charm. It was my first time at trying a more antagonistic or villainous role, and I had always said that it was my dream to play a villain, she said. And while all of the weird sisters have their distinct looks with a few matching black ensembles, Tati was going to bring her own love for fashion to her role. Did you know that Tati actually inspired Prudence's signature hairstyle? I came to my original audition with the finger waves. They liked it, and they decided to keep it, shared Gabrielle. Now, while Prudence and Tati may share a love for fashion and the iconic hairstyle, there is one thing they don't have in common. 
the darker side of the show. According to reports, Tati was totally freaked out by the show's play on Satan. She even refused to say the words, Hail Satan, as a joke behind the scenes. Tati later even admitted to doing a nightly session where she rids herself of all the bad energies that she may have called on whilst using real pagan spells on the show. What are your thoughts on the show's use of pagan spells? And what did you think of the show's audition process? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.